today I have a pleasure of uh, having a conversation with uh, Dr. Kiran Bedi who needs no introduction. Um, and I think we're going to go into what Dr. Bedi talks about, you know, uh, lessons of life or school of learning. Uh, and we want to start off with uh, Kiranji going back into your childhood, probably the best place to start. Uh, you know, you, you grew up in a conservative family uh, in, in, you know, a smaller town relatively as we think about it uh, in those days. Uh, give us some perspective on, you know, as, as a girl, right? And you're, when you look now, it seems, oh my, oh my God, what you've achieved. But when you were there in that, you know, early days, uh, how did you really think about your future and handle the pressures around, you know, looking at as a girl in a conservative family and what you wanted to do? Yes, you're right. I belong to a, a, a wealthy and conservative family. Lots of my father and lots of brothers and sisters all living together. We, I grew up in a large joint family, joint businesses, a um, town called Amritsar. And a time when I was born, my father, grandfather almost owned half the Amritsar. So much of land and they could sell and sell and spend, sell and spend. So that's, and he had buggies and a uh, horse-driven car, uh, uh, buggies he would drive and had a cigar, you know. So that kind of family I was growing up. While daddy's brothers were part of the conservatism, my daddy wasn't, my father wasn't. He was a tennis player. But the conservatism dropped there for my father because he was a tennis player and he went to the club to play. All his club bills were paid by my grandfather. He was happy with the club and the club bills. Because daddy went to tennis, the whole family went to tennis. So daddy was the only son of his conservative family who was playing tennis. See, when sports enters, conservative is the first victim, right? Mm. We girls, we were four girls in the family. And mummy was lover of education. So two things went into my DNA, love for education and love for sports. So the whole family was after school on the tennis court. I would wear shorts, I wouldn't wear skirts. So I had shorts on, a nice t-shirt and a bush shirt. We were a unique family of that time. Even amongst girls, we were the only family in Amritsar which was doing this. Credit goes to the father and the mother. One who loved education and the one who's. So when I was growing up, I also saw uh, conservatism around Girls being married, dowry being displayed. Dowry act was not an offense. Those days we didn't have a huge display. And they used to take me there and I used to ask, why is the girl's father uh, going to be doing this and doing such large, expensive? They said, because ch girls who don't study very well. <laughs> they scared us. Nay padoge, to papa da mama ko bhi ye dena padega. Right? So, aisa kabhi nahi hone denge, mama. So, I grew up to be a self reliant woman hated what I saw, detested what I saw, and vowed this will never happen in my life, where my parents will have to do these displays and send me off as a very decorated girl. We were tennis, we were tanned, we were playing, we were competing, we were running and traveling third class, going into the cold run engines. This is my growth. Credit goes to the family. So, uh, because my parents were very unique, we were unique. But I took over the relay because once they've instilled this mm -hmm. to become self-reliant, it was no looking back on me. I was different even in college and school, totally different. If you go back to my uh, class friends and say, ye kiran aise hai, wo aise thi, isne aise hi hona tha. Ye to ye ye kehti bhi thi. I don't even remember what I used to say, but they say that. So what I've been is consistent in my life. What I wanted to be, self-reliant woman in charge of myself, in command of my life, be a provider, have companionships, yes, but no control over me. I love my sense of freedom and love to decide for myself. So, and loved education. Education has been a part of my life till now. So I think I credit goes to the seeding which has happened. Mm -hmm. I think it was God's grace. Born in a privileged family, which was well resourced, but very, ethical in living, value systems, not ritualistic, but highly spiritual, no all value system, no falsehood, no injustice, right? Nothing uh, crude, anything about, no extravagance, 
I think I've been a hugely uh, uh, um, pr privileged from the family value system which they gave me, but I never gave up my inner f hunger, hunger to be my self-reliant woman, self-decider. That's exactly the value system which took me to the further on to my career.